Alola, and welcome to part 58 of my let's play of Pokemon Moon. In the last episode, we got to this point in the Aether Paradise, and now we're going to move on. Here's Gladian, that's clearly Lab A. It's not here. Wait, it's not here. Don't even think about getting in here. Me and Noel, we're more alike than we might look. We're both what? We're we were both what we were made to be. I was like an ornament to my mother, but wearing whatever she told me to wear, acting however she wanted me to act. Noel was crafted just as carefully. It was made just to battle the beasts in this room right here. Okay. Okay. Chill out, dude. We're not going in that room. You're in the way anyway. Take it this is our room then. Oh, did you see that? I saw a little flicker. Zygarde cube. Oh, here's Hal though, just to ruin me wanting to go back. I must remember that. What, what are you kids doing in here? Don't touch anything with your grimy hands. This research is our life. I don't care if you're a kid or what. I'll send you flying if you threaten it. Threatening violence against the miner. What a top quality person. So, we continue our little campaign from last episode against the Aether Foundation. It is a double battle. Aether Foundation employee and Aether Foundation employee. You'd think in this day and age, they'd just be able to put like an S on the end of the employee and make it employees and that was it. Challenged by Aether Foundation employees. You would think so, wouldn't you? Alright, so we got Leonard out front and House and now Raichu. There's Alolan Raichu. So let's, uh, let's D-dance up. Right, you Psychic on the Machoke, I hope. Yep, yeah, that should be that down then. Yep, done. Done like dinner. If dinner was done with, uh, Psychic powers. Leonard, level 35, without bringing anything to the table just yet. Wants to learn Sandstorm. What happens if I get rid of Dragon Dance? Now that I've used it, uh, I'm not going to. Just keep our old moves. We don't need Sandstorm. But yeah, I wonder what would happen in that scenario. I assume it would just fail. Or would it use Sandstorm in its place? That's interesting. I should have tried it. Okay, so... Well, I'm guessing whatever damage I do plus Raichu's hit... Is gonna be uh, plenty. Both hit both targets. Let's just take this thing down. There we go. Done. Done once again, like a psychic powered cooked dinner. It's not a particularly original line, but wherever there is light, there is also shadow. There is another world that cannot be brought. About through idle talk. Got it. Look at her face. She's like trying to like educate us, but she looks like she looks like she's like I don't know, just completely out of it. I may be an expert at studying Pokemon, but I'm not an expert when it comes to battling them. The guys in but the guys in Lab A next door, they're pretty experienced with battles. After all, they spent so long researching that uncontrollable Pokemon. Hey hey! Focus people! Where's Lillian Cosmog? We may have lost, but that doesn't mean we're going to help you. I'm not telling you anything. She's not here, is she? Even you can see that. Proper bad guys. Proper bad guys who don't just tell you what you want to know when, when you beat them in a Pokemon battle. Come on, Beezer. Let's split up and look around. Maybe we'll find some clue. I'll look at this box while you cover the rest of the room. Right, well, that book is obviously there to be read. <clears throat> Aether Report, Ultra Wormholes. Beyond the Ultra Wormhole that Professor Moan discovered lies a different dimension. By investigating the changes in mass there, we can predict the existence of Pokemon-like life. We have dubbed them Ultra Beasts for now. Okay. Aether Report, Cosmog. Cosmog is hypothesized to be a type of Ultra Beast that hails from another dimension. A dimension that we have named Ultra Space. When placed under sufficient stress, it reveals the power to create and open ultra wormholes in order to escape from its suffering. We are now working on a device that will allow us to manipulate the ultra wormholes created when Cosmog, Cosmog is subjected to extreme stress. Wait, so Cosmog might be an ultra beast? How did you read that from over there? Was I reading that out loud, like, in-game as well as 
uh, actually on my channel kind of thing. We should tell Gladian about this. He's off. He's gone. Giddy how. Okay. So let's not forget about the Zygarde. No, never mind. How is... Oh, here's Gladian. Did you find anything? We learned a bit about Cosmog. Like it might be an Ultra Beast or whatever. And if you stress it a lot, it can create Ultra Wormholes. Maybe to run away or something. If you stress it. If you hurt it. Is that what you mean? Is that why she ran away with it? Well, we didn't find any sign of it down here. Yeah, Faba probably knew that this would be a dead end. Damn, did he outsmart us? It's not time someone, like, a bad guy in a game actually outsmarted you. Gladian never really explains anything, eh? Probably makes it... it probably thinks it makes him look cool. I want to collect that green shiny thing next to us. How? Go away. Should I go after him? We all got into this together. Might as well see it to the end together. Oh my god, I want... Oh, right, okay. I thought he was going to transport me. I want the, uh, the quote, strange cute creature. Right. So... We can go in here now. Should we go in here? Not an awful lot in here, but there's another book. There's suspicious... There are some suspicious looking deleted files. Would you like to look at them? Files in a book. Interesting. Which would you like to see? File 2. BKP, that says, obviously, guys. BKP, development record number 2. Anti UB fighting life form B Beast K, K Killer. The president has approved the pro proposed budget for this development project, so it will be implemented. Wow, I can't read, guys. Can't read today. BKP development record number five. De materials for development have been collected from the Canolave Library in the Sino region. Plans are being drawn up for the specifications of the type change program known as the RKS system. Work is underway on designing the specifications of special memories for said system. I don't understand what any of this means. I'm just reading it out to you guys. BKP development record number seven. Collection of cells of all types for genetic modeling has been completed. Blueprints for the skeletal structure have been approved and incubation of the bioframe is underway. Oh god, there's more. I thought that was going to be the last one. The, I mean, this one. BKP rec development record number 11. Dummy test of the RKS system program has been completed. Type has been successfully altered with all 18 special memories. The transplantation of the RKS system program in, uh, to the models is underway. The BK's official name has been set as Type Full. Oh god, how many are there? Okay, just two more. BKP development record number 18. Production of three models has been completed. They identified as serial number 01, serial number 02, and serial number 03. How original. All three models rejected the RKS system upon initialization during testing. Shortly after these initialization errors, all three type models of type full went berserk. BKP development record number 44. Models have been fitted with control masks to mitigate the effects of their rejection of the RKS system. Due to the implementation of these control masks, our RKS system initialization tests have failed. All three models of type full are to be cryogenically frozen for the rest of eternity. The name of these models has been changed from type full to type null. And now Glidian has one. Somehow. Oh, there's a computer as well as this. Let's have a look at the screen. Introduction. This is the blog of F, a branch chief working in the Alola region. Title introduction. Interesting success to readers. Now let me introduce myself. My name is F and I'm an elite self-made man. Here on my blog, I will show you the way to succeed. This is the blog of F. Blah, blah, blah. Title, multitasking. Currently, I'm working on the development of a special sort of ball, which I took over from my predecessor in parallel with another project. Seeing how well I multitask impresses my subordinates and increases their motivation. Showing how skillful you are is a kind of on-the-job training for your underlings. This is the same blog. Hedging risks. I once ventured to undertake a project without notifying my superior. I developed a device to restrain a dangerous life farm in case it became necessary to do so. I had it made for hedging risks to protect myself, but for better or worse, it was made public. It, was always it is always essential to consider the risk before one takes action. Massaging the truth. My superior's family stole the results of our research and ran off. However, I have chosen to never blow this issue out of proportion. I will only be reprimanded for my own mistakes, and surely my superior is also displeased with the actions of her family as well. When necessary, one must always be prepared to massage the truth to protect one's own position. It is not an exaggeration to say that this skill is vital for success. Uh, fun times. Thanks, Faber. A full restore. Thanks, Faber. Faber! 
Let's get out of here. Let's get out of lab A. And let's make our way downtown, walking fast, something, something. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, they're not in the list. I kind of thought they would be. I don't, I, I don't know where they've gone then. Okay. Is this where we're meant to be? Ah, there we go. Your bezer! <laughs> Even beating down old father doesn't change, does he? What do we do? Beat whoever stands in our way. What other choice do we have? This music's kind of funky. I'm liking this. Fine, fine, we can do that. But do you have to say humph all the time? Oh, hello. Hello there, children. <laughs> These guys are now chef. I'm afraid Branch Chief Faber has given us orders regarding you three. I, I don't know what voice I'm doing now, it's certainly not chef. Now that you've learned of the darkness at the heart of Aether Paradise, we'll need you all to conveniently disappear. Whoa! He plays a battle with me! Now's not the time, we should be battling with those people. How? I think that's what I meant though, like alongside him. Against these two dudes. Was it two dudes or was it a guy and a girl? It was two dudes. The two cheesy grins. Aether Foundation employee and Aether Foundation employee. Mudsdale and Pelipper. We can't hit Pelipper with our um, ground type attack. However, I feel like Raichu is going to do an electric move to Pelipper and take it out. So let's uh, let's go ahead and D-Dance so that we can do more damage to the Mudsdale. This how made the right move again. Oh my god, this is crazy. How's AI is actually half decent. Come right then. Here we go, Leonard. Here we go, Leonard. Here we go. Ha! Huh. They always seem to go for Raichu. Get kicked in the face, Raichu. Kicked in the face. How sent out Leafeon. Alright. Okay, then. Pretty cool. Alright, then. Let's go a thousand ways this time. Mudsdale use Bide if like, we can take it out before it's uh before it unleashes its energy. Oh my god, that was plus one. Oh dear. Didn't think of that. Yes, Leafeon. That's fine. You gain stamina. Do you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and let Leafeon finish this thing off. Oh, okay, it did anyway. I was just going to say, I don't want to waste a PP. Go on, how? Claiming the victory for yourself. Glory hog. You guys are dazzling, horribly sparkling. The children of Alola who aim to be champion through the island challenge, they are not to be underestimated. My face is angry. Ridiculous. Have the children of Alola always been this strong? That's what you get when you go through the trials of the island challenge. Now that you understand, how about you get out of our way? Alright. Phew! Thanks, Ibiza and Zargard! How knows? How knows? It was down to me. When you're fighting a battle, you can't afford to lose. You don't. Oh. When you're fighting a battle, you can't afford to lose. You really can't waver at all, huh? Let's go. You know, I know we aren't friends, but I'm glad you two are here. I remember what you said at the Battle Royal Dome that day. How? about how people can achieve more if they do something together. Looks like maybe you were right. <laughs> that, that grin and nod though. Gentles, young master. <laughs> it's Velma. <laughs> Look at how just like, huh? What do you mean, young master? It has been a long time. And hello to you two. The Bezer and Hal. Gentles. I don't know what this voice is at all. It's nothing like Velma. Please allow me to hear your Pokemon. Oh, that's nice of you. What's happened to Lily? Do you know anything? I imagine the shows for the president. Then that's where I'm going. That's all I need to know. 
The president? That's Miss Lucening, right? She's a really nice person, so I'm sure she'll listen to us if we explain everything. Yeah, she's real nice, as long as you mean nothing to her. But I'm afraid the doors have been locked. Again? <laughs> That's still stopping me. How? Gladian going in? Suppose we should follow them then, shouldn't we? Here we are. Here he is! Baba! My, my! What naughty children! You should just lay your heavy heads down. But I knew you would struggle onward. I could see through every action you would take. So I knew you would try to reach the president. And that is why I knew that I would be able to ambush you here and remedy my previous failure. The only reason I let you in the lower floor was to buy time to gather more stuff to stop you. Staff, not stuff. I don't know where that was. So, uh, Mr. Faber, do you have the key to the president's rooms? Indeed, I have it right here. So, if you just stayed hidden, we would have been stuck here anyway, right? <laughs> Plot holes. What? Oh, the music goes off and everything. <laughs> Dramatic effect. It, enough. You lot, teach these children a lesson. I don't have time for this. Help me out here with Basil. Ain't nobody got time for this. So, what are we in now? Are we in a double battle with uh, with Gladian now? Is that how it's going? Aether Foundation employee and Aether Foundation employee. Magma and Electabuzz. Oh, well, have I got the Pokemon to deal with you? Some of my favourite Gen 1 Pokemon, though. Yep, here's uh, Gladian. He's got a Golbat. Lovely. So even if it was Earthquake, this still wouldn't be a problem. I'm not even going to bother setting up here. I'm just going to... Thousand waves. Sit down. Definitely leveling up after this battle. Ooh, so close. Thunder punch to the Golbat. Nice. Acrobatics to the Magma. The Magma's down. Magma's down. Leonard's going to gain a level from that, I'm sure. Yeah, boy. Well, we might as well keep the alternating thing going. So let's land Zerath now to finish off this uh, Electaboos. Because that would take down the Golbat. So it's not even like I can just use a safeguard and let the Golbat deal with it. Be Aether Foundation employee and Aether Foundation employee. A... Eh, eh, guess it's, time to, guess it's back to honest Pokemon conservation activities for me. Losing to you generated dark feelings in me. Okay. Well, they were two slightly different reactions, weren't they? Oh, and the bath. What did you do while we were doing that, How? What was How doing? Nothing. Uh, how can this be? To be garnered by mere children. No, we're helping one another out isn't so bad. The days are how I leave Faber to you. I enough! I will show you the true power of French Chief Faber! The man who is called Aether Paradise's last line of defence. We will settle this at last with a multi battle. Go on, Ibeza! Let's show them just what our Pokemon are capable of. You could have been doing that while me and Gladian were fighting those two guys. For Lily and for Cosmo too. <laughs> that was just a hand on hips moment. I, I was expecting another line from Faber then, but it just never came. He just put his hands on his hips and was like, well, let's go then. It's go time. Aether Branch Chief Faber, an Aether Foundation employee. I would not work for a company where I wasn't allowed to have a name. Slowbro and Ledian. This guy's got three Pokemon. Why has his mate not got three? Right, so I'm going to guess the Raichu's pretty much got this. Um, and unless it's got an Ice-type move, Slowball's not going to have anything super effective for us because the Dragon in us resists the water in Slowball. So I'm going to guess this is going for Slowball. Yeah. Sit down. Lovely. 
Light screen. That's good because I'm physical, so it doesn't matter. I can't hit that thing though, so I could really do with uh, Raichu dealing with it. Alright, what are they sending out? Hypno! Reckon I can one shot this thing now? Oh, it's level 40. Probably not. Let's give it a smack. Smack, smack, dig em, smack. Give me a smack and I'll smack you back. Doesn't affect Ledian. I knew that. I actually did. That wasn't me covering. I actually did know that. It didn't even do half. Come on, Electro Ball. Wow, that did nothing. That did nothing. Oh, and now we've got the Reflect up as well. This guy is just here to assist, isn't he? Just here to make sure Faber isn't done for. Okay, we can afford another Dragon Dance. Since the Reflect has just reduced our attack in effect for the time being. You should have carried on Electro Ball in the uh, Doofa. Bug Buzz, that's gonna, that could potentially take out Raichu. Super effective stab, no. Oh, don't hit me. Oh, right, fantastic. Oh, no, it's Raichu. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. I should have safeguarded. It stops us being put asleep. I'll do it now. Too late for Raichu, but I don't care an awful lot about Raichu. Although Raichu does deal with um, Ledian pretty well. Why did it psychic it though? It psychic it last turn, didn't it? It should have um Electro Ball. Uh oh. Ha ha Sit down. Right. Come on, Leonard. Sixty HP will be enough. And it goes up to eighty two. Waste another turn of light screen and reflect as well. Raichu wakes up and now is protected by safeguard. That's the move to be using on Ledian. Bug buzz to Raichu. Probably kills it. Yep. Lovely. Not overly fussed. The Ledian's weakened now. We take, we take the psychic. What were we on? 82. Go on then, how? Send that Incineroar to deal with the Ledian. Um, on 82, so we lost 55 to that Psychic. Oh my goodness. Should we heal again? Let's heal again. I want to I wanna wear out these... Um, these Reflect Turns. To be neutral, won't it? Does, does fire resist bug? Yeah, yeah, it does. Psychic to me because obviously you can't hit Incineroar with that. That did exactly half, didn't it? There goes the Ledian, though. Hopefully, some of these screens start to fade as well. Well, 37, so it'll take less damage from the Psychic now. How much did my special defense go up? Two. Good. Reflect War off. Okay. And I am a plus two. Hang on, what am I doing here? I am a plus two. Leonard. Let's do this. And it's focused on just the Hypno now. I don't know if the fact that it was targeted at a flying type splits the attack. Someone could let me know in the comment section down below. I'd be curious about that. If you get, if you don't get what I mean, like, you know, like moves like um, Land's Wrath. It reduces the power on both targets so that it can hit both targets. Well, obviously when there's only one target, it boosts the power back up. But what about when there's a flying type on the field that I can't hit? Does it still split the damage? If I even explain that right. I don't know. Anyway, that crit might not have mattered. But either way, it, it happened. And that's that's what matters. <laughs> Here's an impression for you. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> well done, Game Freak. That was brilliant. Well done, Pokemon. Oh, he's off. He's not fussed about hanging around, is he? 
I want to help save Lily, so I'm going ahead. You don't mind, right? <laughs> that, uh, that tension, that awkward moment. Thanks for the key, Mr. Faber. Just nicked a key off a guy. This is why, this is why I can't bring myself to life, children. Is that it? Are we done with you now, Faber? Okay, let's go. Let us go. Wow, this recording is already approaching the half hour mark. Yes, that music and that MTV cam for uh, Gladian running as well. There he is. Mr. Gunza. Guzma. Whatever his name is, Guzma. Whoa! There's like an Uku billion Team Skull thugs in this place. So the Foundation really was working together with Team Skull. This is like way too mind blowing to think about right now. Hey, Beza, let's knock some skulls together for now. How just going kicking off? Okay, so even though we've got this cool top-down GTA 1 style view, I'm going to go ahead and save because I feel like this is a good opportunity to uh, end this episode. In the next episode, hopefully we'll finally get to Lucerne um, and maybe even finish this Aether Paradise portion of the story. I don't know. I don't know how much longer it's got to go. But if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you leave a like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And don't forget to share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I will see you next time.